Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Brown and this is day 31 of my journey to 30, my journey to lose 30 pounds. And uh, it's a good day. Today is an excellent day. I started the day off in the office. I worked a lot in the office today. It was really tough. I'm in the studio now. I just made a video for uh, my nonprofit ministry that I run called Proclaim Ministries. Many of you know about that, some of you don't, but you can check it out at ProclaimMinistries.com. So I figured I already got the stuff set up, the good mic, the video camera. So hi, how y'all doing? Today's also a good day because it's my son's first birthday. Today, Evan Josiah turns one. Yes, you can give him a hand. He turns one. And we sung happy birthday to him. And uh, the cake pops are back. <laughs> he got a cake pop for his birthday, put a candle in it, and he didn't know what to do with it. But uh, he didn't know quite how to blow the candle out, so he kept trying to swing at the candle. But uh, he enjoyed his cake pop. I did not enjoy cake pop. So I'm sticking to it. I'm okay. It was fun not to have a cake pop because when I worked out earlier, I didn't feel the cake pop all up in here. It wasn't there. But uh, early today, I sung him happy birthday by himself. He's not quite walking yet. But he was uh, stood up, sit him up on my desk, and he just stood there. And he kind of just balanced himself while I sung to him happy birthday. He just looked at me like I was crazy because he doesn't quite get it yet. But uh, today is a good day. And, you know, today I, th I thought about time. And, you know, a lot of times, often we say we don't have time to do this, we don't have time to do that. But I found out a long time ago, we make time for what we think is important. We do what we want to do. I don't know about you, but growing up, I remember when I fell in love or fell in deep like with some girl, you know, I'd be on the phone late at night. You know, some of you are old enough to know we didn't have cell phones back then. We had the, the phone, not even the cordless phone. But we had the one with the big old long cord that wrapped all through the hallway into our bedroom. And you'd be laying there in the bed talking to your, the girl or boy you didn't deep like with. And you didn't want to get off the phone because, you know, you just you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Anyway, uh, I learned even from then, we find time to do what we need, what we want to do. And so for me, it's been, uh, I'm learning a lot through this journey and learning that I can find time to work out. And sometimes for me, I don't like to do things if I can't do it all out. But there's a benefit in even just doing, uh, one of my favorite workouts is, on the go and really quick is a uh, is 10 I don't know what it's called but it's every minute on the minute you do uh, five sit-ups seven push-ups and nine squats and you do that for a minute and if you finish before the minute is done you just wait till the next minute starts and you can do it again and I tell you what it doesn't sound like a lot but after 10 minutes of doing that you get your heart rate up you've worked out some muscles and it's really good um, so you can find 10 minutes to do that and I can find 10 minutes. I can't make excuses. I just didn't have time. And so even last night I worked out at about midnight. I had to do something because I want to make sure I'm staying on track with my workouts. Today I stopped in the middle of the day. I was getting carried away in the office doing different things. So I had to stop and work out, drop everything and work out because I need to make sure I get it in my schedule. I had it planned first thing in the morning, but it just didn't work out. And so I'm learning a lot about myself. And, and maybe you can think about that for yourself, that there you can find time to do what you need to do, what you want to do. So we need to find time to do what we need to do. And that is taking care of our bodies, because if we don't take care of our bodies, as I mentioned yesterday, and getting sleep, our bodies will say, hey, I'm shutting it down. You're done. Shut it down. So uh, that this is my day 31. I'm on the journey. I'm trying to stay away from the scale until Sunday, but it's sitting right there in, in our bathroom. But, uh, you know, this is a great journey. So many of you have submitted some questions. I will answer some of your questions in the next couple videos about uh, what I'm doing for my weight loss. And uh, some people have asked, can, can my trainer train them? I will talk to her about that. But I will share more of those and tell you about my up jawbone. I will tell you about the fitness app, all the things we're doing to continue down this journey so I can lose 30 pounds and live the best life I can live. So thanks again for joining me. And I'm, I need to stop saying so. That's like one of those filler words. I heard that when I was doing my video earlier. So help me with that. Keep me accountable. Oh, and by the way, I sent off the shirt today. It's my first winner of a different contest. The first winner over in England. I sent that shirt. And so your shirt should be arriving pretty soon. Your Choose Well shirt. If you like a Choose Well shirt, I told you, you can you can earn one or you can win one this weekend. Whoever guessed what my weight will be on Sunday. Somewhere between 235 and lower. Lower 
lower, <laughs> you can win. The top three guesses were closest win a free Hello Mr. Brown Choose Well. Oh yeah, t-shirt, which I'm not wearing right now, but you can win it. And so, uh, so I said it again. So stop saying so. Stop saying so. Thanks for joining me, and I really hope that you make better choices to live a better life because choices are the puzzle pieces of life. So choose well. Oh yeah.